Have you ever looked at a bottle of e-liquid and gone, what is VG and PG? Well, that is what I'll be answering today. Welcome back to the Vampire Vape YouTube channel. My name's Andrew, but before we begin, go down there, like this video and subscribe too, so that you don't miss out on any of our future content. But yes, today's topic is PG and VG, and what it is and what devices, you know, it might be for. So down here, I've got two different general sort of types that you will see in terms of e-liquid size and bottles and you will notice a ratio somewhere on these bottles that will often be say a 70 with a slash and a 30 or maybe a 60 40 or something like that and it will often say pg and vg on it now what is pg and vg well, they are the two components that make up e-liquid. Let's not talk about nicotine at the minute because that's something we'll cover in a different video. Let's just specifically look at VG and PG. So VG and PG are what makes up our liquid. So it's two elements. PG is actually propylene glycol and then VG is vegetable glycerin. So the ratio is actually how much you know, makes up the e-liquid. Now, the reason why there's two different ratios instead of one sort of set level across the board is all down to your device. So we've got a couple of devices just here. I've got a sort of starter kit or a mouth to lung device just here. And I've also got a sub ohm device just here as well. So generally PG and VG, well, PG and VG are in all juices. However, a e-liquid that has more PG, you will see that it's a thinner e-liquid. So the one that I've got just here, it, this is actually a 60-40 in favor of PG. So that's 60 PG, 40 VG, and it's a very thin e-liquid. It's very, very thin. It's almost watery. Whereas on the other side just here, I have a 70-30, so 70 VG, 30 PG, and it's much more viscous. There's more viscosity there, and it's it's a thicker e-liquid as opposed to the sort of wateriness of one of these. And the reason being is a smaller device like this, which has a smaller coil, the heating element inside, well, that needs to be able to wick easily. So you have a thinner e-liquid with a higher PG content, which is going to help feed the cotton inside the coil so that you can vape it easier. Now there is more to it, which we'll touch on in a minute, but that's the sort of general overview there. Now on the other side, with a device like this, you can see how much bigger this device is and the heating element, you know, the coil inside is much larger than a mouth to lung because mouth to lungs take low powers, whereas a sub ohm device like this takes a lot of power, often, you know, going up to 100 watts even, as opposed to maybe 10 watts on one of these. And because of that, the coils have a lot more cotton inside and well, you have a thicker e-liquid which produces that vapor. So this is the next sort of point. So VG essentially is what creates the vapor. It's your vapor production element, essentially. So PG in an e-liquid like this for a starter device helps give you that extra throat hit. So as well as your nicotine strength will help with that, but if we just had zero nicotine, that PG was what gives you an extra throat hit, essentially. Whereas when you're using a sub ohm device and you're taking in massive volumes of vapor, you don't really want throat hit at all, do you? You, and that's why it has more VG. It's a smoother sort of inhale as opposed to PG. So generally with mouth to lung devices or starter kits, you will have maybe up to a 50 VG. Because if you have more than 50 VG for a starter kit, it's essentially gonna not wick well with that coil and it will burn it out faster. So you need that thinner e-liquid for a device like this. So really you want like a maximum of a 60 VG, but generally a 50-50 is fine. Whereas a device like this, a sub ohm device, if you use a high PG, well then it's going to be too sort of watery, let's say, and you could flood the coil and it will be too harsh. It just wouldn't be a good experience. So you would pretty much looking at 70% VG or above for a device like this. Now you can get into the territories of 100% VG, but that's a little bit more advanced. 
but still for a sub-ohm device. So for a starter device, you're looking at around a 50-50, no more than maybe 60 VG, but you know that's what we're looking at here. Whereas with a device like this, you don't wanna be using anything less really than a 70 VG. So there we go. We hope you've learned something today. Please let us know your thoughts down in the comments. And whilst you're down there, like this video and subscribe too. My name's Andrew. This is the Vampire Vape YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.